Welcome back in baseball fans to our road to the show series tonight. We are going to get into our next series here against the Mississippi Braves. First, we got to do that uh, training. So let's see what we options we got here. Group contact, recognition drill, strike zone. Hmm, there's a three for quality at bat versus left-handed pitcher. Improves our left, left, and clutch. Yeah, that might be the best one there. So we're going to see our first mini game here. I need to uh just that music there that copyright claim stuff that's a fly out Another line out. Good lord. Doing so hot on this one. There we go. Get that silver. All right, next at bat. Oh, down the line. Too early on that one. There we go. It's a line out. Why he's gonna score? Ooh, hot shot to the shortstop. But we got gold on that. That's fine with me. All right, we get that progression. Let's get on to this... Six game series against Mississippi. All right, our Brigham Barons are nine and zero. We're going up against the four and five Mississippi Braves. Uh, Now at the plate, the third baseman, number 14, the baseman. Alvarez. At first one. All right. Runner. Beat him. Got him. The second and he's out. All right. So, off to a good start. We've gone down one... One guy trying to steal on us. See if we can get called up here. All right, our first at bat. Nine game hit streak. Four hits per game in this stretch. That'll raise the batting average in a hurry. Bashes this one to deep left center. Good contact. That was a little on the tip, but it's a good double for us. No time wasted here. Not much to nitpick about that swing. Had a lot of doubles this season. Exit velocity. That ball was simply scorched. The 
first baseman Batting will hit next. The first baseman. All right, Galandi. You might, uh, you might get walked here. Or is he going to fly out? Three and one. Gets walked. All right. Well, let's get into the uh, standings for the MLB season that we got so far. Here's the shortstop at so, uh, looking over here at the American League uh, first East. Second, two down. American League East, I think. The last time I looked, they're the uh, they're the only uh, division in baseball right now that everyone is over 500 in that league or in that division. I'm sorry. So right now, sitting in first, you got the Yankees at 12 and and five. Let me do this at bat. Or up the middle. That's a single. The Baltimore comes in is in second right now at ten and six. You got Toronto at nine and eight. Tampa Bay at nine and eight. And rounding it out is Boston at nine and eight. Moving over to the American League Central, you got Cleveland Guardians in first at eleven and five. Kansas City second and sitting in second at eleven and six. Detroit's in third at nine and seven. Then you got Minnesota at six and nine, and then Chicago two and fourteen on the season. O'Brien leads off a first with two out. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Moving over to the American League West, you got the Rangers sitting in first at nine and eight after their win tonight. The Angels are in second at eight and eight on the season, which is. Pretty shocking to, to everyone how, how well they've started the season with how bad their team is. Uh, Oakland has had a little luck run of success and they're uh, up to seven and nine, sitting in third. Seattle is in fourth at six and ten, and then Houston is in last place at six and twelve. Sends a rocket to left, 14th of the year. It's three nothing. They are feeling great right now. Already out in front. Then they add that homer. So heading over to the National League, you got uh, we'll start with the East. Atlanta's in first at ten and five. Phillies in second at nine and eight. Mets are in third at eight and eight on the season. They're at five hundred. Good for them. Washington's in fourth at six and nine, and then. Miami is in last at three and fourteen. We head over to the central. Right, let's see here. Gonna be a hit. Shoot four. We're gonna hold the runners. All right. Go over in central on the National League side. You got Milwaukee in first at ten and five. They are tied with Pittsburgh at eleven and six for first place. Cincinnati sits in third at nine and six, followed by Chicago at nine and six, and then St. Louis is in the bottom at seven and nine. And last but not least, we have the National League West. That one hit to right on the move. All right, come forward with it. Runners tagging from second and third. Here comes the throw. Eat it. Yep, he beat that. So, National League West, it's Los Angeles Dodgers in first at 11 and 7. San Diego's in second at 10 and 9. Arizona's made a bounce back. They're at 8 and 8 on the season. San Fran is at 7 and 10. And then Colorado rounds it out at 4 and 13. All right, let's see here. We're going to get for clutch. That's ripped. Base hit. In line. Down second on his way to third. Coming home. Relay. Throw home. He beat him. The tag and that is That's the of end the of the seventh. So it's no runs, two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We're at the end of seven. The Barons out front, five to four. The second baseman now, now at the plate. The second baseman. 
Esposito. One down. Base is empty here in the ninth. Popped up to the left into foul ground. O'Brien on the way over. Drops and that's an easy run. fly out right there. So let's move into the news for the day here. Right down the, pipe. Kind of pitch the White Sox and Tommy Pham have an agreed to a minor league contract. Hey, we look, we won, we kept held them off at five and four. And the Marlins outrided Matt Andres an hour ago. Uh, Ken Holtzman passed away. All right, let's get into this next game here. Uh, Robert Stevenson being uh, evaluated for possible for their elbow soreness to see what's going on with that over in Los Angeles. And the Nationals promoted Mitch Parker. So he's been called up to service. Ooh, that was too early. Uh, the Dodgers are... We'll get to this news here in a moment. We'll get through this at bat. There we go. Oh, no, fly out. Uh, the Dodgers recalled Ricky Vanco, Landon Neck for MLB debuts. Our next at bat already. And I'll take uh, two RBIs for 500, Pat. Well, the Cup fans, Saya Suzuki has been placed on the injury list due to an oblique strain. Uh, the Marlins select, uh, was it Yanni Perda? I hope I said his name right. Yanni Perda? The Padres signed Donovan Sallow to a minor league deal. White Sox select Jonathan Cannon for, to be called up. Uh, the right so White Sox also promote promoted uh, Nick Nestrain. All right, two four. We got him. Got him. All right. Marlins uh, Marlin option Max Mayer to the minor leagues. Tigers claim Ty Attic from the Mariners. Uh, Dodgers shut down uh, Amy Sheehan. Walker Bueller has, uh, could return soon. All right, come four. All right. Uh, the Mariners promoted the uh, uh, Yonanton uh, Cleas. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering these names. Not too familiar with the other teams besides the uh, Rangers, who I root for. Oh, that's a fly out. There's a little late on that. Makes the grab. Uh, Mariners, uh, Luke Barker agreed to a minor league deal. Astros outrided Cooper Hummel. And that's about all of our news for today. So a lot of moving parts going on, a lot of injuries across, across the board in National and American League, so. Got him. To get into scoring position on that play, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. We're back here at the ball. All right, we're one for three. We haven't done too hot this uh, strong start to this game. Some impressive slugging numbers so far. All right, I'm gonna try to hit a double or better. Oh, 
Nope, that's another fly out. I am doing bad this game. Got him. Well, we lost that game. We finally, the Barons finally got their uh, their loss for the season. Well, that's all right. We'll have to do better. We were one for four that game, so we'll have to do better this next game. There we go. We'll start out with the home run. A solo shot, the 16th homer of the year, and they add to their lead. It's two nothing, and he extends that nice hitting streak. Another game with that swing. He looks really locked in. Clearly, he's not just stringing singles together during this streak. That's a good job to adjust to the inside fastball there. The lineup flips over, and the batter will be the shortstop. All right, what do you think? You think he's going to steal? I think he's stealing. Strike in there. Got him. Throw to second. Tag out. Ain't nobody stealing on my watch. All right, two ducks on the pond. Let's get them around. This one is labeled. And that one hops the wall. One run comes across around third. Now we'll relay to third. Safe. Safe. Triple. And he's clearly locked in after yet another hit. Really seeing the ball well lately. Clear the pond. Every time he steps into the box. And here's the first baseman. first baseman. All right, Glandy. Get me home. Bounces this one to first. Out That'll work. We'll take it up to five. All right. Home run, a triple. We need a double and single. For a hit, only swinging pitches inside the zone. Did the pitches in the zone? Ah, too early on that. There we go. Dong, big dogs gotta eat. Another homer. Did it again. Home run number two of the game. It's six nothing. He keeps producing loud contact in this ball game. Really good hitting in this one. It's often so difficult to get the bat to a hard fastball in that location. Good hit right there. 113 on the exit. I'm thinking I'm seeing anything with our teller guy that's over the one teens. It, it goes over the wall. Now with the chance to make it a three homer game. Swing and a drive. Three home run game. We are really pressing it to him now. 11 to 2. What a offensive game for the Barons.
three homer games like this one don't come along every day. I hope he's enjoying it. I know I am. Yep, one teens uh, usually put it over the wall, so we're doing pretty good with that well, prediction. All right, four for four. Let's see. Four for four in this one with a triple and three homers. That one ripped out to left. Ah, uh, that might be a fly out. Nope. Over the wall, number four. Gotta eat. Circles the bases. Fourth homer of the game, and they tack onto their lead. It's thirteen to two. Just an impressive we are really pressing it to him now. He is a menace in the batter's box. I hope all the fans in attendance for this one appreciate what a special achievement this is. Four homer games are incredibly rare at any level. O'Brien and we ended up winning that game 13 to 2. What a game. I'll probably get clear of the game there. Every at bat felt like an opportunity to see him deliver. Yep, player of the game. I just wanted to get the win for my team, you know? We had four home runs this win. What was going right? You know, I could just really see the ball well. It was like a beach ball coming across the plate. You know, we're just going to keep working on and improving as a team overall. This is a team game, so it takes all of us. And yeah, thank you. All right, let's get on to that next game. So two down. And next, the cleanup hitter. The first baseman. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting going here in the top of the first. And it's a pop-up. And that's that. All right, and that's the end of the first. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on. Midway in the first, and there is no score. Well, let's see if we can change that, shall we? One gone and a runner on at first. Runner on first, I'm up to bat. Pretty early in the season, but so far his hitting is absolutely living up to the expectations created by his performance. Oh, and handles this chance. That's double play. There's one double play, and that'll do it for the inning. First frame of the night behind us, and it's nothing. Hit it to the hot corner. I think I was early on that swing. And now the right fielder rolled that over to the hot corner. Here's a pop-up. And that's the end of the inning. All right. Let's get these sticks going, guys. All right. Bottom of the fourth. Still nothing, nothing. We got to get these sticks going. To the hot corner again. That liner had base hit written all over it. Just some bad luck. Alright. Arm the six, still nil nil. There we go. I'll break open that board. An absolutely titanic shot. Home run number 20. No, that was an exit velocity 109, so it's one nothing. That blew that theory on it, huh? The team take the lead. That was a low 90s fastball, and it wound up in a spot that was entirely too hittable. A pitcher who doesn't have great velo on the fastball has to locate better than that. All right. And he put a charge Shoot back to our home run earlier. Absolutely mammoth home run. Big sound off the bat and a majestic soaring shot that he'll probably savor for some time. All right. They oh, intentional, intentional walk. Here and now a force at any base with two gone. Now batting. Trying to keep this close. It's a 2 2 game. The first baseman, number 13. Two for 13 this series. Come on, Glandy. So 
here in the bottom of the seventh, just past the stretch. Pops this one up. And it's pop Moves up. It. Pulls it down for the catch. One run in the inning, but they leave a pair aboard. We're headed to the eighth. The Barons have the edge. Two to nothing. All right. And here's the catcher. One for three. Tyler Colby. There goes the runner. Deal. That's it for a strike. Got him. Throw to second. Tag and they get the out. And we're going to hold on to win that game two to nothing. That was a very close game. Only one hit. A home run. Great game at the plate. And he certainly made a difference for them. Nice job to help lift. All right. Let's get into this next game. Believe this will be game number six. Should be the final series. All right. Let's get our first at bat here. We'll start it off with a home run. I like that. That is a no doubt home run. A towering blast. Eighth of the series. Just like that, they move in front. It's one zip. Tack on one more to his hitting streak, and he does it in fine fashion with the dinger. He's clearly locked in right now. Not great command on the Only an exit velocity of 106. Hmm. That's not a winning formula. Marks to the hitter. The All right, here's our next at bat. Let's see what we can do. One on, one duck on the pond. Swing ah, that's gonna be a pop out. Heading back, very deep. Snags it on the warning track. Yep, that was a fly out there. All right, let's get our third at bat here. 215 pounds, and he's knocked in double digit runs in his last 10 games. Absolutely. There we go. Right down the line. It stays fair as it curves around the on the fair side of the pole. So we're up to nothing on him now. Man, look at that arc on that bad boy. Yeah, I thought that was going to be a foul. That was just luck on our part. A lot of hitters who are particularly prone to the strikeout nowadays, but he's not one of them. Great bat to ball skills. And a double better contact swing getting on first after taking the first pitch. We'll go for this one. Building that power. That leads to better contact and more hits. Nope. That's a ground out. I was very, I was early on that. That fastball was cut, was shooting away from me. Well, that will end the series. Well, that will end that game. I think that ends the series. Nope, one more game. My count was off. The third baseman now at the plate. And he's unusual insofar as he's a lefty right. batter who still has great contact ability against southpaws on the Runner on the go. Got him. Throw to second. Out. Notice with this catching profile versus my other one, I am very good at cutting people down that are trying to steal on me. Versus my other one, it's it's hit or miss. I sometimes get them, I sometimes don't. All right, here's our first at bat of this game. Probably feeling pretty good coming into this one. There we go. Could be extra bases. Around first and second. Run for two. We'll get two standing up. The afternoon off right with a double. Aggressive approach paid off there. Found something he could hit. That ball was humming as it left the bat. Pretty clear early on in that play that he was looking at extra bases. All right. Landy is 180 on this season, man. Gets it by him for the it's even worse now. End of 
All right, here's our next at bat here. I don't have any flag, so I don't know what the wind's doing. Get down, there we go. I don't think we got any wind this this game. We got an RBI. I like the ballparks that had flags. That way I can see what the wind is doing. So, but this, our ballpark doesn't have any flags out there. So I'm not too sure. I'll have to see if it says anywhere else what the wind is doing. So up next, Lenin Sosa. Two runs in to score in the inning. Here in the back end of the third inning. Fly ball, left field. Turn, return, return. That was a fly ball. Just a shade too early with the swing, and the mechanics might have broken down a bit. He needs to try to put that up the middle. And he's probably going to get walked. To the pull side. The 3 1 offering. There's ball four. Case is loaded. Now the third baseman, Ryan Galaney, hitting at the bottom of the order. Not a lot of success at the dish lately, but could start to move up with a good performance in a big moment like this. Damn ball. There we go. Let's break this tie, baby. All right. There you go, buddy. That one might as well have been placed on a tee right down the middle. Leading up for the Barrett. All right, we're still up four to two in the fifth. Number 15. I don't think there's any wind, or if it is, it's it's very heavy. Can't get any. I can't get the ball up, so it's fine. We'll we'll go with that single. Contributor, and here's the first baseman. Run around the go. Ah, I got caught. Oh, I'm safe. And that's a nice little milestone he won't soon forget. Man, I thought I was gonna get caught there. I had a terrible jump. He was quick into that delivery. Such a good hitter with runners in scoring. All right, so we took away their double play opportunity. and doesn't shift approach in run scoring opportunities. What an asset in the lineup. Got it. Picks up the seventh strikeout of the ball game. Two out and a runner in scoring position. Next up, the designated hitter, Oscar Colas. De Avila is just eating up our batters. Seven strikeouts already. That'll be the end of the fifth. We go on to the top of the six. No errors. One left on base. Five innings down. The Barons with the lead. Four to two. And now the right fielder. All right. We jump to the top of the seventh. And it's a pop-up. And, that's the third. and that'll be the seventh. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a runner left on base. Time to now I'm number two on the bat. Have the lead, four to two. One down. Now All right, one's down, so it's up to me. Three for three with two singles and a double. A frozen rope. Uh, that's probably gonna be a line out. Yep. A nice running catch. Now batting, first baseman. That win finally shifted, but I couldn't get it over. That's well, that's the game. To Four to two, we win. Nice to see a so we dropped one in this plan, against the Braves. And that is the series. So. We dropped one out of the six games. That's all right. But uh, get back to the clubhouse here.
Oh, we got a perk. We got perks. Open this pack. Open the pack. What do we got? All right. Opponents make weaker contact on the first two pitches of the bat. Significant exit velocity boost while ahead in the count. Significant increased pitch accuracy with runners in scoring position. I think. gonna go with the weaker oh no i didn't want to sell it it was we owned all of them oh no whoops i wasn't paying attention oh well but we don't really have any pictures so Gotta read next time, huh? All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Next time we join our White Sox catching prospect, we'll be going up against the Chattanooga Lookouts. So until then, take care, everyone. We'll be back one day. We'll be back one day.